Hey guys, Greg here, Bone Tactical. You may know me as a former international fugitive and man of mystery, but today we've got something very special for you. Really, this is gonna be the most concise concealed carry video that's ever been put out there on YouTube. This is gonna discuss the best carry options from the best brands that you need for concealed carry, focusing specifically on holsters and bags, all designed from the top gear companies out there, specifically for concealed carry. Those of you who may not know so much about my background, which I believe it's probably few by this point, should know that I have had a considerable amount of experience having to use firearms as a way of life, living by the gun or gun for hire, so to speak, all around the world. So this video is actually not sponsored. I have reached out to a few companies, actually a lot of companies, and we've discussed bringing you a full panoramic of all of the top holsters and carry bags for concealed carry. Really all of the best gear and equipment out there on the market in the world today for concealed carry. So we've got everything from bags that are all really gray man theory applicable. I'm only gonna be using stuff here, and this is the real gray man theory, the theory that I teach, not the fake one you see out there on the internet. But uh, I'm not gonna show you stuff that doesn't work. So these bags, none of them have molly on the outside, none of them are camouflage. Everything here is 100% the best in the world, period. So we've got everything from leather works and leather gear. I've got the two top companies in the United States making handmade or American made quality leather gear. I've got the top holster companies as well. Uh, Bravo Concealment from uh, my personal favorite Falco. Uh, right now it's the, the top that I've found recently. I've been using Bravo Concealment for a lot of years too. We've got Acre Leather. All of these guys are gonna be linked in the description below and we'll go through this stuff one at a time. First, let's talk holsters. Before I continue, I need to stress very importantly that concealed carry is a huge responsibility. It's a responsibility to yourself and those around you. If you don't have a few essential items that I have here on the table with me, one being a good solid belt or webbing or strap system to affix the firearm to, to the holster or what the firearm is in, the other being the holster to actually contain the firearm, especially if you want to carry with a round in the chamber, and the third thing being the combination of ability to carry a firearm, which is skill set, which is in your mind, skill set, mindset, and physical ability. So you need to be able to use a firearm without being a danger to yourself and others, and you need to be able to carry that firearm in a way that it's not gonna fall out and go off or fall out and get found by a child who's gonna do damage with it. So this is all extremely a huge responsibility, and that's also why I'm bringing you the absolute most essentials. So we're gonna talk holsters, right? Before we get super, super into holsters, like I said, you gotta have a good belt. I will give a quick shout out to my favorite leather belt company, which is 1776 Gun Leather, specifically designed for carrying guns. Huge, 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 heavy duty, really tough leather, okay? Just great, I use this. Uh, you can see all my tactical tr Israeli tactical training videos where I was training with some of the top Israeli shoot pro tactical shooters over in Europe and uh, wore that video wore this in that course didn't have any problems great belt also the belt I'm wearing right now and the holster I'm wearing right now Bravo concealment holster Pistola! So guys, what we've got here is the Bravo concealment holster outside the waistband and the Phobus magazine holster. Phobus paddle holster, I got it from Zahal.org. This came straight from Bravo concealment. And a core essentials belt. You can use code Bone Tactical 10 for 10% off. K-O-R-E essentials.com, Bone Tactical 10. Okay, so that's the belt I'm wearing right now. If you want a nylon belt that's just affordable and nice to get, remember these holsters don't work if you don't have a good belt. So leather belt, 1776 gun leather, links in descriptions below. And uh, my recommendation for any other kind of a belt, like a more modern style click belt would be the core essentials. Going from there, 
we have several different kinds of holsters. The different kinds of holsters are gonna be split into kind of a tree of categories. You've got kydex and you've got leather, you've got hybrids in the middle. Then you have inside the waistband, outside the waistband, and then you have different positions of carry. So, so this doesn't completely confuse you so much, I'm gonna say leather is really great for fancy, for showy environments, for when you have a nice suit on or something like that. It's kind of cool and old school, especially like an old school leather shoulder holster, but it is not as practical in really running and gunning, heavy sweating situations, hot environments, because in those type environments, extreme heat and extreme cold, both, the leather is just kind of not highly recommended just because it can, it, call, it you have to do more maintenance on your firearm. And in an extremely humid and hot environment like I am right now, if I'm not in air conditioning, I'm going to be carrying in plastic because my gun could be rusted at the end of the day if I'm out running and gunning in the jungles having a leather holster. Inside of a leather holster, it could be rusted by the end of the day. So talking uh, really quickly about leather, they're just kind of a, almost to me, they're like a, a fashion thing or a kind of a luxury item. I love this Acre Leather 168 GL19 for my Glock 19. Love it. It's really cool and uh, smooth and makes me kind of feel like a cowboy 007. I don't know. It's not love! <laughs> So these leather holsters are definitely cool. And this is from Acre Leather, but they are a, a bit different, okay? This particular leather magazine holster, it always worries me that it might pop off because it's got snaps on there. And then the, the retention snap here, it always you know, gives me a little bit of a scare for not being able to get my pistol out quite as fast but they're really cool, fancy leather holsters. And then, you know, Magnum PI over here, just really cool. It's got your mag holsters on one side and then your your um, Glock on the other. Just just neat, neat uh, old school carry, but it's, a, like I said, a luxury item. The shoulder holster I can actually carry in super hot, super humid environments sometimes if uh, if I'm layering and wearing it out on outer layer, but still I don't I don't like to get the leather all toasted and then it kind of changes and molds and all that kind of stuff. But anyway. It's still long. So what we've got here is Acre Leather, magazine holster, shoulder rig, Obviously, I'd be wearing this under my shirt, but this is just a really cool option. We haven't talked about crossbody draw, especially if you want to have a jacket on with your waistband open and a suit jacket. So this is probably your best option for guys wearing a suit jacket with the ability to open and not have anything on their waistline. So I, I would recommend this stuff and they, you know, Acre Leather, they have your magazine carriers too. I would recommend it more as a luxury carry item. Then from there, we've got outside the waistband and inside the waistband. And we're going to discuss levels of concealed carry. And why is concealed carry important? Concealed carry is important because it gives you the element of surprise. There's really kind of no reason to ever open carry. As a civilian, it just gives away your your position, right? Unless you're in a group movement, like if it's the end of the world and you've got your whole entire team, all right, and you have to have your firearms out for quick access, but it's more of a military or private security type thing because as a civilian, you wanna be able to use the ultimate gray man theory if you can, and it's very rare that you need to go so far hard target that you wanna open carry. If you're out by yourself grocery shopping and you're open carrying, you're just making yourself a target. And uh, if it's a skilled person, then they can just take that gun, gun from you and use it against you. And, and it's just not, uh, not super intelligent. So. Outside the waistband is a lot harder to conceal. And there are a few times when I would recommend outside the waistband. And one of them is if you're working and you're sweating a lot. One of them is you're running and gunning. Okay, if you're in hardcore action, uh, if you're a you know police or military, I often, often, often carry outside the waistband. Because again, I do a lot of sweating. I do a lot of 
I'm always, I'm either in the shop working, welding, doing all kinds of heavy, hard stuff. And uh, it's just more comfortable outside the waistband. And then also depends on your body type. You know, if you're, if you've got a gut, let's say, then inside the waistband might not even be an option, but we'll continue on outside the waistband. We've got a couple different options here that I, that I'm showing uh, here. I'll show the, the paddle style first. Now these two types are, are, um, paddle styles. This is a Warcat tactical G19 for RH uh, right hand MRDS. So it's, so you can have a sight on, uh, on your pistol, which is pretty cool. And it allows, you know, for the, for the sight on the pistol. So pretty cool paddle style. Now, why do I recommend paddle style for the little bit of separation from the body? So this is cool. If you have a sight on your gun, definitely check out the Warcat tactical for, if you have a red dot on your pistol. So, what we've got here is the Warcat Tactical holster, allows for an RDS sight attachment. So, if I've got an RDS on my pistol, I can attach an RDS as well to this system and set up I have micro RDS from Zahal Org and then the red dot sight will function with my holster I attached to the pistol with no problem. And then this is the Falco, okay, holster. And this is actually, I just got this in and it's the coolest that I've ever seen. This is my, my new favorite. So I'm gonna be using this and wearing this every day. And why is that? Because it's very low profile but it has this body separation here. So I have about anywhere from like almost an inch here to about, you know, a little bit between half an inch and an inch of body separation. Now with all your clothing and everything, you're probably talking about a quarter of an inch, but that quarter of an inch of separation of your firearm and your body can keep your firearm from getting wet when you sweat or in your super hot, humid environment and can, can keep the firearm from jamming on you because of rust in the in the chamber. So just this is uh, going to be my new go to. Pistola! <laughs> this is one of my new favorite holsters here from Falco outside the waistband. And it has that little bit of body separation that allows me to be out here training, running, gunning, high humidity environments, hot environments. And the gun at the end of the day won't be so wet and dry and wet and dry with my body heat and sweat that it won't be rusted shut. I don't have to worry about having a malfunction due to my pistol rusting with this kind of a holster. Now, if you are in the United States and you have a you know nice cushy job, you don't sweat a lot, climate controlled environments, you, you know, you have a lot of options for for concealed carry that's inside the waistband. Uh, this is gen this is a Cytac, okay, and you know, it's Chinese made. They sent me a bunch of holsters. This is the one that I've stuck with from them. Super mass produced, but they actually do a great job with these Cytac holsters. I have several of them. I have a b actually, so I've got like 100 holsters, and uh, these are the ones that I actually 100% stick behind and recommend. Unfortunately, you know, it's a, it's a, we got to be honest, it's a commercial world out there. Or it's, uh, and, and if the Chinese are doing a good job on something and busting it out, you got to give credit where credit's due. You guys might not have a big budget to buy an expensive American made holster. It's unfortunate. And if you don't, and if you're, you know, a guy that's, that doesn't have a gut, and your you know slim or athletic build you can carry this inside the waistband and it's one of the best ways to concealed carry this and a, a concealed carry design specific shirt like the el sicario that i'm wearing right now and your gun is invisible so you're hugely in the benefit of being able to carry with inside the waistband appendix carry <laughs> So guys, this is appendix carry. And appendix carry is what I recommend for the highest level of concealment, especially if you're a gentleman that doesn't have a really large waist, because what a, a larger waist can do is push out on that pistol 
but a good holster appendix carry can be your best bet along with a concealed carry shirt like the El Sicario. This is a Bravo concealment as well, and it's my favorite IWB holster from them and pretty much overall my favorite IWB holster. And uh, I carry this one. I was carrying it a long time in, IW, in uh, appendix carry as well inside the waistband IWB. And recently then I went to hip carry and then behind the a little bit behind the hip carry. So it's just really versatile for when I transition from uh, being out in the jungles or being in my workshop or being on my property. And then I go into environments where I need to be really more over the line of gray man. And uh, that's when I transition to this because I really want to hide the gun and I want to make sure. So I absolutely have this inside the waistband tucked away nicely. And then I have a, con a covert concealed carry shirt on that has the double layer fabric in there because there's certain times when I need that element of surprise and I don't need people profiling me as having a gun. And that's when I use this. It's probably the best holster on the table. But again, these holsters are all designed for very specific. This is the best holster on the table for being having the element of surprise. So guys, this is one of my favorite holsters for concealed carry because it does the best job, in my opinion, for concealing the firearm. Bravo concealment. I was just carrying hip carry, but it's also available for use with appendix carry. But what your inside the waistband does is it just gives you the option for deep cover concealment, especially when you have a double layer shirt like the El Sicario. From there, we're going to go into discussing the bags and carry options. But really quickly, I want to talk about your clothing as well. Uh, we talked about having a concealed carry shirt, but there's times where you might want to go to the gym or the beach or something like that and not be able to have a heavy duty belt on. So if you don't have a good pair of jeans, what I'm wearing right now are black diamond stretch jeans. I highly recommend stretch jeans because, you know, four way stretch. They have like elastic sewn into the jean material. These are for climb mountain climbing, but uh, I use them every day because they allow me to run and gun really flexibility moving. And, uh, and then the belt, a good quality belt has to go on your good quality jeans or pants. And then you have, then that, that allows you to have the base system for a good holster. If you don't have a good quality belt because you don't have a good quality pair of pants, I've been using this in the mornings running and biking for years. So this has been just used and abused and beat the heck up. It's just, I've tried to destroy it and it's still 100% functional. No problems whatsoever. This is a traveler's money belt from Bone Tactical. I could be naked and effectively carry a gun. You don't need anything. So for your gym days, for your beach days, you just put this on and now you have a heavy nylon belt to put any holster on there. So you have really no excuses based off of clothing as long as you have a traveler's money belt. Now let's get into the bags. So what we've got here, guys, is Falco Industries, really cool little fanny pack holster. You can see it works in action, mag pouches, pistol pouch, but put a little piece of string on there so you can get your gun out without looking at it. So talking about bags, what do bags allow me to do? Bags allow me to have off body carry and there's really not a whole lot of information out there about off-body carry, but I'm gonna tell you, off-body carry can be extremely advantageous. Pistola! This particular bag from Elite Survival Systems is uh, designed specifically for concealed carry. And as far as working hand in hand with my gray man, uh, the real gray man theory, it does great, but it is one of the slower bags to access the firearm. It doesn't open completely and it's a little fidgety. 
but it carries an extra mag well, it carries the pistol well, and it'll get the job done. Overall, this is bone approved. I have a good friend of mine who is a, he works as an electrician with a government agency, and he, he's an ex uh, operator, special operations guy, and so doesn't really feel comfortable not carrying his firearm, but because of his job, he actually works at a government building, and it's not like a crazy government building. There's just so many gun-restricted zones in America. If you want to be a law-abiding citizen, you can't take your gun to work with you. So he'll have a, a bag like this, maybe in a lockbox or something in his car, and have his gun in, in one of these bags, so easily accessible, right? Uh, type If it's an active shooter type situation, you can have an active shooter bag like uh, police officers often have in their vehicles. And it just uh, for us civilians, and especially in the YouTube tactical community, there's not a lot of people who have shared the importance of this information. Now, there's a wide range, wide variety of these style bags that can help you depending on what you do, what your lifestyle is, what your needs are, stuff like that. The most important thing, like I mentioned briefly earlier, is that they're not gonna make you a target. So they don't have molly all over them, they're not camouflage. And so that's why these particular bags are the best bags. So Elite Survival Systems and Falco have provided these bags for me. And I've been designing my own bags for a long time and carrying my own, uh, just have never put them into production. And I've been looking for good bags for a long time. And uh, these are the first bags I found from a provider outside of having them custom made myself or making them myself that actually provides and makes a good off body carry option. So the first thing that we need to look at with these bags is that they're all pretty much gray man applicable. What I mean by that is that they're gonna be used in different situations. This is a bag for sporting events or for if I'm training or if I'm at the gym and it doesn't scream I have a gun. And then if I am a little bit more dressed up, I might have this bag, okay. Pistola! So, Falco has been nice enough to provide a very cool holster for this video. Actually a bag holster setup. All right, got the magazine here, fully adjustable. And great for any kind of a concept of gray man theory. Little tip or trick is to add a little piece of cloth so you don't have to look to actually grab your pistol out of the bag or if I wanna wear a fanny pack, I can have this bag. Pistola! Another great bag from Elite Survival Systems. This one's really cool because it's got a pretty heavy duty Universal pistol insert, a little bit better than the, than the standard universal pistol inserts. It has a cool pull tab here, which I've augmented with a little bit more that pulls it open. And then it has several spare magazine holders. Definitely check out Elite Survival Systems for your off-body carry needs. So I can wear this on my back or and then quickly sling it to the front as a shoulder, cross shoulder bag, over the shoulder bag. I can wear this as a different kind of sh over the shoulder bag. It does have a belt loop, but I would more likely be wearing this on my hip, but using the strap, not wearing it on my belt because it just looks weird. And then I would wanna have an untucked shirt with this. So we'll, we'll show different outfits and shooting with these bags. And with this particular bag, uh, having a, a fanny pack is just a great, great, great option because what this allows me to do is just slap on my bag, okay? Just slap it on and be prepared. I really need to be practicing with these. They can be a little slower to draw. Uh, there's some tips and tricks that we can go through with that. But what this allows me to do is if I do need to go into an area where I have to put my gun in a lockbox, I don't have to show anybody that I have a gun. I just put the whole bag in the lockbox. If I want to just keep the gun in the bag and check it periodically to make sure it's clean and well-oiled and in good use, I can go home and keep it, you know, put it in the safe. Uh, take it out, just open it, look at it when I'm ready to leave and then just, just sling the bag over and go. So many great options for having this and, and, and the other option is if I'm at the gym 
and I don't want to have the whole traveler's money belt inside the waistband getting my gun all sweaty and wet, then I can use this for marathons, j workouts at the gym, running, training, and still have a firearm on me. So what we have here, Elite Survival Systems. Check out the link in the description below. But looks like a Marathon Runner's fanny pack and has your water bottle attachments, but allows me to carry a pistol when I'm working out. And then of course these other bags pretty much allow for any of those other situations I talked about. So we're gonna go through and, and show some shooting with these bags if we haven't already and I want to say thanks for watching. Let me know what you want to see more of and what your favorite stuff on this table is. Be sure to check the links in the descriptions below. We've got Falco and Elite Survival Systems for the bags. Thanks for watching. Bone out.